Last winter, I picked all my lemons, oranges, and tan trees from the trees on the side of the roads. In this video, I want to take you for a walk and let's see what Greek nature has to offer now in the late spring and early summer. My name is Lena and this is my life in Rhodos. Welcome to the channel. This is sage. There's a lot of it here in nature. It makes really good fresh tea. Smells lovely. I only found one beehive. Usually there's many of them around here, but today I just found this one. Local people here, they put a lot of beehives all around. Usually there's about 10 of them, one next to another. Rodos has a bee museum where you can learn about bees and the history and traditions of beekeeping in Rodos, and also about the honey production process. This is a small fig tree. They grow pretty massive and they need a big space. There's no fruits yet on this small one. Behind this fig tree, there's a cactus with a lot of fruits on it. But they're not ready yet. When the fruits are ready, they will have a red color. And I finally found what I was looking for. Wine leaves. and more cactus trees. I'm just gonna turn the camera and here grows more sage. The wine leaves are picked in the spring when they are young and soft, before the grapes come. This is a copper bush. I have to be careful, it has sharp spikes. Coppers have really beautiful flowers. Coppers are these flower buds. Today I'm not picking the copper buds, but the stems with leaves. Greeks like to eat copper stems, for example, on a Greek salad. I wash the stems of the copper bush and put them in water where they can stay for the next five days. Until then, I change the water twice a day. I put a plate on top so that the stems stay completely underwater. First, I wash the wine leaves. Then I put them in boiling water for a few minutes so that the leaves soften and then they are easy to roll. Then I put the leaves in cold water and strain the water out. Now they are ready to use. If you don't have fresh wine leaves, you can always just as well use the canned ones. They will be just as good homemade stuffed wine leaves from this. Uh, just remember wash it well and boil for a few minutes and handle them carefully because they rip easily. Probably in Rodos town or touristic areas you will not find homemade stuffed wine leaves but you will find the canned ones. It's not the same thing, it does not taste the same and the Greeks would not eat the canned dolmades, canned stuffed wine leaves. 
But if you go to the villages, you will probably find the homemade stuffed wine leaves. Uh, you will see it on the menu, it will say homemade, or outside there might be a stand, a chalkboard, and written on a chalk that will say homemade stuffed wine leaves or homemade dolmades. Anyway, let's get back to business. I have half a cup or one and a half deciliter of washed rice, one pound or half a kilo of ground beef, pork is fine too, lots of herbs and chopped onion. I use spring onion because I have them ready in the freezer, and dill and parsley. Mint is good too. Half a lemon. You can put more if you like. Olive oil, pepper, and salt. Mix. Place the wine leaf on the table with the vein side up. Add a spoonful of filling. First turn the bottom, then the sides and roll. Roll tightly so that the filling stays inside during cooking. This will be a pretty small batch because I don't have a lot of leaves. If you make for example a whole can, make double filling. You can also make the filling without meat. These are a bit time consuming, so it's more fun to do them together with company. First place a couple of leaves so that the rolls don't burn to the bottom. And a few slices of lemon for flavor. Then put the rolls tightly one next to another. Place a plate on top so they don't jump and open while boiling. Olive oil and enough water to cover the stuffed wine leaves. Boil for 40 minutes. I made lemony bechamel sauce, but tzatziki or another yogurt based sauce works well here. I have kept the copper stems in water for 5 days now and changed the water twice a day. Now they are ready to be preserved in the fridge. Add quite a lot of salt. Mix. Put in a sterilized jar. Add half vinegar and half water. That's it. And then to the fridge. Greeks like to eat copper stems, for example, on a Greek salad. I love it when different seasons you can find different kinds of things to pick and eat from the nature. This time I just collected a small patch of the copper stems because I actually didn't know what copper looked like. I got lucky because the other day I was driving home and I saw a Greek woman on the side of the road picking something and I stopped my car and I asked her, what do you have there? What are you picking? And she showed me this is uh, kappa, kappari in Greek. So I was really surprised that, oh, this annoying, spiky, beautiful weed that every year we're trying to get rid of because it's growing all over our land, that this is kappa. So this was the first time I picked a small patch and I will see how it will taste like, how long it will stay. And next time I will make a bigger patch. Every of every time you do this, it's an it's a learning opportunity. You usually don't succeed so well on the first time, but when you make these so-called mistakes, they are not really mistakes. They are just opportunities to learn. And next time you will make them better. Later in the summer, we're going to have around in August, we're going to have figs. They grow all on the side of the roads and I'm going to go and pick them one time. I picked uh, figs and I dried them and even I checked them really carefully. There was a worm inside on in one of them, a small worm. 
and they were all ruined in, in the jar. So this year I will not try to, to dry them. I also talked with a friend of mine and uh, she said that the same thing happened to her, to her figs. So this year I was thinking to collect them and make jam, if that will succeed better. I love now in the summer season we're going to have uh, peaches and plums and apricots. I also have these trees in my yard, but they are still very young. They are not going to give any fruits this year. But here is the plum. It's only a couple of years, but it's already two and a half meters. It's doing awesome. And the same is with the peach and the apricot tree. Here's the peach doing awesome. And especially the apricot is really gorgeous. It's actually one year older than the other two. And then we also have the lemon and the oranges and kumquat, uh, pomegranate. For sure we're gonna have some. We already last winter we had a lot of lemons and a lot of kumquat. I made jam out of kumquat. It was a success, it was nice. In the summer season will also be watermelons, grapes, uh, strawberries and cherries. This is all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye bye.